Hi, I'm Toby from Concrete Lab, and in this second video, we are going to show you how to prepare the sink insert that we made in the last video, ready to take the concrete, and we're going to show you how to build the mould around it so that you can cast your own concrete sink. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to sand the insert using some fine sanding pads. Uh, we've uh, got some 320s, we've got a 180 I think here, a 180, we've got some 380s and we've got some 400s and we are going to sand the insert, the resin that we apply to the insert and make that nice and smooth. We're then going to apply a couple of coats of mould release wax so that when we do pour the concrete over it and we come to demolding then that mold release wax will assist in us pulling the insert out but to start with like i say we're just going to uh, go over the insert roughly uh, or quickly with uh, with some sanding pads um, with our trusty orbital sander we've got dust extraction which should kick in if we turn it on there we go so we're going to put it on a low speed, on the low setting, because we don't want to sand through the resin that we've applied. And we're just going to go nice and lightly. And just as you go, just keep feeling it, just to make sure that you're, uh, that you're not going through the resin and it's nice and smooth. Okay, so that's literally, that's all it's taken just to uh, smooth off those sides with the 180. I'll move on to the 320 uh, next. We're going to skip the grits because it doesn't take that much work. Um, on the edges, if you've never done this before, then instead of using the orbital sander to go over the edges, what I would recommend is that you just take the pad and do it by hand. It's a light job. It doesn't take long, but in doing that, you won't go through the resin on the edges um, because you can be a little bit more delicate by hand. So do these top edges here. Don't forget to do the, the side ones as well. Just that. So that's the 180 done. I'm going to move up to the 320 now. Uh, actually, I did forget to do just around that edge there as well. Don't forget around the uh, what's going to be effectively where the where the the sink waste goes, so we want that nice and smooth there. So that's taking all the rough bits off. Okay, so we move on to the 320 now. Remember to have your orbital sander on the lowest setting. So again, just going to do the edges and the top by hand, just so you know you're not going through. Now, 
if you are a little aggressive with your sanding and you do find that uh, you've gone through the coats of resin don't worry it's uh, a very easy fix you should have some resin left over in the uh, in the pack um, and just spot apply that resin let that go off for a couple of hours um, until it's uh, at least well I'd say four to six hours and then you can do the sanding in that area again being careful not to pop through uh, the uh, the resin that you've done in the other areas so right that's the 320 done we're going to do the 400 and that will be it we'll be ready to apply the uh, the wax then to uh, to help with the release so if you are enjoying this video, click the like button below uh, to let us know that you're enjoying it. Also, whilst you're down there, click the subscribe button and then click the little bell icon next to it. And that means that every time we upload a video, you'll be notified. Okay, and that's the 400 done. Very quick process, very easy. Just go around the more delicate areas and the edges. Okay, so that's the sanding done. What we're gonna do next as a quick test is wipe off all the dust you will produce. Uh, a little bit of dust as part of the sanding process um, it's a good test to wipe over it with a damp cloth uh, because uh, the color will show up if you have in fact gone through the resin um, it will show up in the MDF underneath so I'm gonna nip off and get a, a damp cloth now and we're gonna give it a wipe down and we'll see whether we've gone through any of the resin uh, and deal with that if, uh, if necessary okay so damp cloth just give it a wipe over want to make sure I'm just looking for any areas that might darken up a little bit too much I think we're, we're okay on the top the edges and corners are particularly vulnerable um, and that's why we sand them by hand that's good Okay, so uh, I'm happy with that. Uh, it doesn't look like uh, I've sanded through the resin a a anywhere. As I say, sanding by hand uh, makes a difference uh, with regards to that. So it's always better to be more delicate than, uh, than to go at it gung-ho with, with the orbital sander. I'm going to leave this dry now uh, for about an hour before I think about applying any uh, wax for uh, the mould release. Um, and in the meantime, we can look at building the outer mould uh, to hold the concrete once we pour it in place. Okay, so we've let the uh, moisture or the, the dampness dry off from the insert for about an hour now. Um, and we're ready to apply the uh, first uh, coat of wax that you'll receive as part of your insert uh, kit. Um, I've already loaded the rag up. Um, so it's just a case of just rubbing it in onto all the surfaces getting a nice even coverage very simple application make sure you get it on all the edges and obviously all the sides and we're looking to get a nice even coverage over the entire surface. Try and put a nice thin layer. Don't go too thick. Nice thin layer over the entire thing. There we go, that's done. And we're gonna leave that go now for 
20 minutes or so, let it harden off, and then we're going to buff it up and we're going to apply another coat of, of wax. Okay, see you in 20 minutes. Okay, so it's been about 20 minutes now and I've let the wax harden up. I'm just going to give it a quick buff off with a separate, separate cloth. And you'll find that whereas the wax before was a bit greasy when you applied it, which is how you want it to be, now, now it's hardened off, it buffs up really easily. And so you're beginning to get quite a nice sheen on the insert as well. Okay, so that's coat one done. I'm going to apply another layer of wax now. I might even apply a third and a fourth because it doesn't take very long and it's quite easy to do. And it just adds that little bit of protection and allows you to release the, the uh, insert from the mould that or from the concrete that much easier. So I'll apply one more coat now. And buff it again. And that will give us a couple of layers of protection. Ready for the concrete to be poured over the top. Okay. Another application of wax done. We'll leave that go for about half an hour again. 20 minutes, half an hour and buff it up in exactly the same way. And we'll do three or four coats of that. So we will see you shortly.